Okay, I'm doing a little self-care day today and I'm going to be using the pumpkin enzyme Thomas Peter Thomas Roth. I was given this to by a friend. I actually have a couple of them. I haven't tried this one yet. This is the Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. And then there is this really cool one. It is called the 24K Gold Mask. So I have yet to try these two, but I do really like this one. I might even buy the full size actually at some point. So I'm gonna use that one again. Just thought I'd show you guys too. So like I said, I'm doing this face mask after, but for cleansers, I've been pretty consistently using this Cetaphil one. I know it's the mini version because I just ran out of my full-sized one, um, but it's just the gentle skin cleanser. I'm pretty sure that this is the one I used. If not, it's another like gentle Cetaphil one. Um, I always like to get the one with the pump, but I literally just ran out, so... I actually took this out of like my little travel kit, but Cetaphil is probably like, I think it even says here, like number one doctor recommended. So a lot of dermatologists really recommend this cleanser. And then on like an exfoliant day, I will use the Cetaphil Extra Gentle Daily Scrub. Those two cleansers, I've always kind of stuck with Cetaphil pretty consistently, but I do have one other one that I have used in the past. It's this It Cosmetics one. This one actually has hyaluronic acid and ceramides. I'm not really sure what that does, but I honestly just switched between the two. I've had this for a really long time, so it definitely does last a good amount of time. And I just spilled water all over here. Those are kind of the go-to cleansers. That's the, the go-to face mask at the moment. And then I can show you two other things. I'm not sure if I've showed these in a vlog before, but I can just show them again. I use this sleep beauty mask, or no, it's not a mask. It's a sleep Beauty Sleep, it's not focusing. Rest and Restore Technology, so it's really great. It's the It Cosmetic brand as well, so I use this at night. Honestly, I it has more of like a lavender smell to it. It's called Skin Transforming Pill Cream. I don't know, but anyways, I do use this in the morning sometimes too. And then this is just the Confidence, I don't know why it's not focusing, but this is the Confidence Eye Cream. I can link all of these products down below, but that's sort of the, the skincare situation. So I have you guys propped up right now. I slicked my hair back in a bun, just a really tight bun to do my skincare. I'm actually doing like a whole skincare kind of routine right now. I just brushed my hair. Today was not a hair washing day, but I did pluck my eyebrows. I really love getting my eyebrows done. I go to this place in downtown Grand Rapids right next to my yoga studio and they do this really nice like sugaring technique and she even dyes them for me and like the shape always looks phenomenal but I just don't always end up, I mean it is so convenient because it's right there but honestly it's like almost $50 with tip every time I get it done and like I don't know I just feel like it is something that I can kind of do myself with you know, plucking and then doing like an eyebrow pencil. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this um, Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask on. It's very subtle. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's very subtle on the skin. It almost looks like a soft glaze. <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is emily nicole if you guys are new here and if you're not new here welcome back it feels so weird saying that a little slogan that i used to say in front of my videos um i'm back i'm vlogging again I promise I'm not going to stop vlogging this time. Not that I even have like a ton of subscribers, but I know like a decent amount of you guys would watch my content or even my friends and family, but I can kind of just explain like where I've been at. I just really got in my head about vlogging and I put this pressure on myself to sort of make a career out of it. And I think that's like so wonderful, like content creators, it's definitely possible, it definitely exists. It's not an unrealistic goal, but I think it got in the way of me even wanting to create content and to create 
things just as a hobby and for just kind of like an interesting like thought process I had of why I kind of stopped doing it and then like life just kind of happened and I just like stopped doing it but I can kind of explain so basically I had this idea that like oh if I was gonna do YouTube I was gonna have to be big I was gonna have to like make it I was gonna have to monetize my videos and whatever and it's like okay that's great have that goal but then people started making like TikToks really got popular, Instagram reels, and I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna make it on social media, why would I be focusing on like long-term content on YouTube? And it just honestly was not a good thought process. It was very black and white and it just really took away the fun of just filming and making videos and documenting them and like being able to look back on my life was such a it's such a cool experience to do if you guys are into youtube or filming and you know editing your own videos um just have stopped doing it and i honestly don't like that i stopped i miss it i had fun it was a creative outlet for me like outside of just work a lot has changed since i last filmed which was like over a year ago i'm just excited to catch you guys back up on my life what's been going on some fun things in store for us today but i guess like work i feel like i need like almost like a little q a video of like what I've been up to. I am still in Grand Rapids, so that has not changed. I do have a slightly different job role. I used to be in tech sales and I moved to enablement, so that's been really fun. I'm gonna have to make a whole separate video on that. Today, we are making a butternut squash soup. It's one of my favorite soups. I'm a big soup gal. I love soup. I feel like a lot of girls love soup. I'm not really sure why we're obsessed with soup, but it's just the best. My boyfriend says it's not a real meal which I can kind of see that there's honestly like not a lot of protein in it, but I just feel like soup, like homemade soup is one of the few types of food, like meal, not foods, but meals where you can really watch what goes into your food. Like, you know, it's pretty much all whole foods, not the grocery store, but like genuinely like whole foods. I find that they're really easy to make and they're very simple and they're quick, easy, healthy. And that's why I pretty much love soup and it's just really good. But yeah, we're making butternut squash soup bottle here. This is actually about half of the servings that a serving of water that I should have in a day. But it's kind of cool because you can track it. I believe this is from Target. So I will try to find it and link it for you guys down below. So I got these giant butternut squash. I need to get all the ingredients out so we can start making dinner. It is Christmas right now, but we're in Grand Rapids and it's like snowed in. And so it just, our family lives on the east side of the state. And since we are in West Michigan, like it's already two and a half, over, oh, close to three hours actually. Um, it's like two and a half, three hour drive depending on traffic. And the roads are just really bad still. We had a huge blizzard. I know a lot of different states, even states in the South were like basically affected by this like cold front that came through and the blizzard. So yeah, we just decided to celebrate at a later date. So we're celebrating January 6th. If you celebrate Orthodox Christmas on the Julian calendar, Christmas is actually on the 7th, but yeah, we just always have celebrated on the 25th, obviously, but our family is Greek, but anyways, we're celebrating on the 6th, and so since just the roads and everything, we're just staying home, but my brother is still here, so my brother and Mitch ran to get some wine. I've been loving red wine lately. If you guys know me in the past, I never really used to drink. Like I used to drink when I was younger and then honestly, just for health reasons and just trying to change my lifestyle, I ended up cutting alcohol out pretty much completely unless I would like, go out with friends, which honestly is very rare for me, especially in my time when I lived in Boston, I like rarely ever drank unless we went out. But that's like a whole nother topic because I like barely socialized back then. But anyways, so we're going to have some wine. I'm going to put it in my decanter. Beautiful decanter. She is from West Elm. Um, I got her this holiday season just because Mitchell and I have been hosting more. And yeah, it's just really nice. It's very grand. Like she is, she is large. We're going to put some wine in this tonight and then just make the butternut squash soup. I guess I could start just like cutting up these into little pieces. I have my giant cutting board here. This little thing is, she's not little actually, she is, oh my god, my shirt. She is from Target. Target. <laughs>
saute in the oil. For oil, we just used this Trader Joe's extra virgin olive oil. So we let this simmer for two minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and add the butternut squash. So now we're gonna do four cups of the butternut squash. Six cups. Oh, six cups. Why do I think four? Because I have to let this simmer for four minutes. So it's two. We're just gonna mix this together. Okay, now we, since this is a curried butternut squash, we need to add curry, salt, and ground cinnamon. Okay, so all we did was add some sea salt, cinnamon, and then our curry powder, and then we just let it simmer in here for about four minutes, and then we are going to add a little bit of coconut sugar and the coconut milk.